Hey, it was good. Welcome to my fifth day of Roberto Duran series. The series that's almost gonna come to an end on Sunday. I'm a little bit upset too. <laughs> um, this Roberto Duran week is, of course, to pay homage to the great career of Roberto Duran. This idea is inspired by the Fight City. So go check out their website and their Twitter page. They have great content. Today, I will be talking about Roberto Duran versus Carlos Palomino. This fight happened in June 22nd, 1979. Roberto Duran was coming up from lightweight. This was in his first fight in, at the welterweight limit. But, you know, it was his first real test at the welterweight limit because... Carlos Palomino was 27-2 and two with three draws, and he was a former world champion. I think he knocked out um, John Stacy. I'm going to check real quick, but he dropped the champion twice, and he had seven, def- yeah, John Stacy. He knocked, he knocked um, yeah, he knocked him out in the 12th round. He dropped him twice. And he won the title, and he defended it seven times before losing it to Hall of Famer with Wilfred Benitez. So no shame in his game losing to Wilfred Benitez, of course, of course. He also had an earlier loss in his career. So this was Duran's like real big test at the welterweight limit. This was also like to determine who was number one contender. For the welterweight title, you could either choose Pepino Cuevas, who was the champion. Also, Wilfred Benitez, who was the champion at that time. But he was going to face Sugar Ray Leonard. And we all know how that went. But imagine a Duran versus um, Pepino Cuevas fight in 1980. That fight would have been fire. But alas, he still made history. But this fight was like an introduction to the welterweight division. And man, what an introduction. You got a former world champion, seven defenses, and Duran just beat the hell out of a man since the first round. He was beating him up on the inside with those beautiful uppercuts, brutal uppercuts, knocking his head back up and down like a freaking bobblehead dog. And he was he was fainting. Man, in the in the second round, you knew Duran knew. That this guy was no had no chance of winning because he was just fainting, fainting, fainting. And at once he was like, he just moved his hands around like if he was dancing or something. <laughs> and and, and um, Palomino was was flinching every time, and he just smirked at him like, "I got you." But he would he would throw these these weak little jabs like low, and then come over the top with that right hand, bam, ooh. All night, baby. Round six, he dropped him. He got up. Um, he fought valiantly. He 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 had his moments, but really, this was a domination. I gave Duran nine rounds. I only gave round seven to 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 Palomino. Man, I I don't think he would have even stopped him in the twelve round. Maybe around there, maybe a maybe a fifteen round, he would have stopped Palomino. But Palomino was game, man. But he was no match for Duran that night. In a performance that proved to the world that Duran was a legit welterweight and that he was ready for the Wilfred Benitez, for the Pipino Cuevases, for the Sugar Ray Leonard's. He was ready for them, and he would. And it wouldn't be an easy night for for. Any of them. In fact, he would probably be the favorite in that fight. Of course, the rest is history. Um, Duran had a few more other fights until he faced Sugar Ray Leonard, beat him for the title. And after this fight, um, Palomino actually retired. He came back years later, you know. Um, Never... Yeah, never again fighting for a world championship. But, you know, he was a successful movie star, was in Miller Lite, 
commercials and all that. So he's had a successful career. He's an educated man. He was in the army. He graduated with a degree in Cal State Long Beach. So don't feel sorry for Palomo Palomino. He's a Hall of Famer. That's what makes this victory even even greater for Duran because he did easy work of a great fighter because he's in the Hall of Fame. He beat the hell out of a Hall of Famer. Easy work like they like to say now. This was actually easy work. That right hand right there landed all night long. There was no way Palomino was going to beat him. Thanks for watching everybody. Watching this tribute to Roberto Duran. Look out for my next video. I'm going to make it on the Pipino Cuevas fight. So look out for that. And don't forget to subscribe. Peace.